An unexpected outcome to a pair of drug busts involving hundreds of pounds of marijuana. The suspects were accused of trafficking the drugs through the Jacksonville International Airport. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier joins us live from the airport to explain what happened. Well, Scott, all that marijuana was stuffed into suitcases and then flown from California here to Jacksonville International Airport. And once those suitcases were taken uh, from this baggage claim area, they were placed into vehicles that were later pulled over uh, after they left the airport. Back in November of last year, DeJong Wang and Hugh Lee were pulled over and arrested by Florida Highway Patrol when they were caught with 240 pounds of marijuana stuffed in suitcases. Both men were facing mandatory minimums of three years in prison if convicted on charges of trafficking marijuana, but the charges were reduced to possession with an intent to sell, and that's what the men pled guilty to and only received one year of house arrest followed by two years of probation. Local attorney John Hosbauer is not affiliated with the case, but is an expert on legal defense pertaining to drug charges. He says getting caught with 240 pounds of marijuana doesn't always lead to a slap on the wrist, but in this case... There could have been uh, information provided to the government, some degree of cooperation. There's always some backstory there to arrive at that type of disposition. And then there's the case of Artes Ward and Michael Lewis who were arrested after they left the airport and were pulled over with 125 pounds of marijuana stuffed in suitcases. They were also facing marijuana trafficking charges, but the charges were dropped in this disposition letter. The prosecutor said because the defendants never made any comments to the trooper that pulled them over and because there was no body cam video, the prosecutor could not prove who the suitcases belonged to. Houseborough says if the prosecutor had surveillance video video from the airport baggage claim, the prosecutor would have likely had a stronger case to pursue. That would have tied the, the uh, suitcases to these individuals, but uh, a roadside stop where these individuals are detained and ultimately arrested, it's not their vehicle, they weren't driving. How does the government make the case to put that, those pieces of property with those individuals absent those external uh, pieces of evidence. That could have been critical. And once again, in that second case, those two uh, suspects, those two individuals, they would have been facing a mandatory minimum of three years in prison if convicted on that marijuana trafficking charge. Reporting live from inside JAX, I'm Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.